observations, uh, and that actually is very uh, welcome. Uh, my key focus uh, in this opinion is the need to create more collaborative approaches to the digital agenda uh, to address disparities arising from physical geographies and the need for growing digital agenda methodologies for SMEs, e-government uh, and e-commerce. Um, there is a need to construct better infrastructure uh, and to link to further educational systems across the EU member states uh, and to catch up where future business and the quality of life is heading towards. Um, there are many elements to the digital single market agenda and each one of them needs attention in terms of policy making. Uh, we've seen several uh, policy papers uh, going through the SEDIC Commission uh, in the last year and arriving into the plenary fresh with hope, knowledge and perspective. Uh, truth being told, such as the pace of the digital agenda, we need to engage with many strands of it uh, as possible. Um, Unlocking the opportunities that arise in the digital single market is a must in addressing Europe's future economic growth uh, and employment prospects. Uh, indeed, in compiling this opinion paper, uh, I don't have to convince yourself, Mr. President, on the importance of digital innovation and the need for cities and regions to be creative thinkers. Uh, your leadership in co-rolling out the knowledge exchange platform, peer-to-peer -peer events, the Innovation Region Ecosystems publication and the Innovation Boot Camps, now 14 in number, have shown more and more the need for increasing emphasis on what the digital agenda coupled with innovation can offer citizens in our regions, coupled with large metropolises and smaller cities, all of whose historical business and industrial models have changed, and also regions suffering from depopulation. The story of the diversity of the EU regions have always started from creative thinking. Um, this opinion paper calls for partnership and collaboration to address geographical and economic disparities. I think we call for innovation a lot, but to maximise the digital agenda, collaboration must be followed. The quadruple helix uh, must be employed. Society, education, business, government um, must get together uh, and be engaged as a team with creativity and ambition, uh, what I call quadruple quadrubic, quadrubic helix. Uh, plus one. Uh, and new investments should be promoted to accelerate the rollout of infrastructure uh, capable of achieving broadband speed targets um, and to accelerate the deployment of new technologies. Uh, also SMEs, many SMEs lag behind larger companies in using digital and online tools and are less likely to offer their service online and across the value chain. Uh, we need to have a look at that. Uh, and also with te technological progress, um, there is a fear that jobs will be dis displaced by automation, increased productivity. Uh, we we also need to have a look at that within our regions. Uh, to conclude, uh, thinking smart, Mr. President, has lit an enterprising fire in many of our regions. Uh, the advent of the third industrial revolution, as outlined by Professor Jeremy Rifkin in the Bratislava uh, summit, um, he has highlighted that the principles of smart specialisation uh, are really, really important and that they're rooted in, in vision and openness, in values of exchange and citizen interaction. Uh, and regions need to become collaborators, enablers of strategies. We need to become leaders, recognisers of change and champions of fresh narratives uh, around the digital uh, agenda. Uh, the alignment of the quadruple helix of government, business, academic and civil society is also really important. Uh, and young and old can share the shared economy um, and maybe the foundations of global growth will not be just based on economic arguments but will partner with the social as a key to unlocking the EU's future. Um, I'd like to thank those who sent in amendments, uh, for the most part have accepted 90% of them. I'd like to thank the SEDIC Commission Secretariat, Alexander Popov in particular for his help. Um, Yomi Ronstrom, the Commission President, for her continuing work in addressing the digital agenda and her great leadership with the Commission. Uh, and for their sterling work, I'd like to thank Ronan Jingles and Sarah Holden of the Irish Regions Office. Uh, Bognan Rudijvic in the EA Group uh, and Councillor Michael Murphy, Leader of the Irish National Delegation and my colleagues here in the committee. Uh, thank you Mr President.